Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy, the Gusty Garden Galaxy. The Gusty Garden's ga uh, Gravity Scramble, I messed it up, but okay. <laughs> you know what? This feels like a really bad intro, but too bad, we're going to run with it. I'm going to run with this thing so I can steal its star bits. Hmm. I... I get a feeling with the amount of star bits it's giving me that maybe... Just maybe... Uh... There'll be a Hungry Loma coming up. I don't know if said Hungry Loma will be in the galaxy or in, uh... Hey, I ground pounded. Maybe too early. Or maybe just around the planet doesn't work. Rude. But it might be in the galaxy, it might be outside the galaxy. But it feels like a lot of star bits to be given right off the bat, you know? And yeah. Yeah, something about being given over a hundred star bits before anything actually important happens, it seems suspicious to me. And yeah. Speaking of a lot of star bits, I'm going straight for that gold jump. I'm gonna hit some boulders on the way, but there's a golden chain jump, and that feels important. It's just a star. A secret star. Lovely. Guess I grabbed all these star bits for practically nothing. And yeah, at least I got my boulder timing down, at least on that first one, and second, got it. Smooth as butter. Anyway, wow, we got a star just for paying attention to the fact there was a big golden chain chomp. But you see, now I get the feeling that there isn't a Hungry Luma, like I thought there might have been. Because, if there was a Hungry Luma, that would have been like, the secret star for the level. They don't normally put multiple secret stars in one section. So, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it, I guess. Hey! The rainbow star didn't spawn that time. Oh. It's probably because I did all the coin and star bit collecting that the uh, star power actually spawns. I see. Well, good thing I did that first, I guess. Hmm, star chips to form launch star, or maybe just a sling star, who knows? Ha hang, hang on, hang on, I can cheese that. Awesome, glad that I did that. I'm sure it wasn't necessary, but it was fun. Come on, I can totally get this one with the same trick. I can totally get that one the same way if I line it up right. It's just gonna be harder to line up right because this platform moves. Nah, that's too far down. I got this. Trust me, I got this. And here! Ah, too early. Oh well. I guess I had to come to this planet anyway. 
so... I guess I'll get it the normal way. Would have been cleaner to have done it the other way, but whatever. This still works, and I'm okay with that. No, I'm not going to talk to whatever board this one is. Because it isn't billboard, and it isn't fill board, and it probably isn't a necessary board. Well, if it was a necessary board, it would have talked to me. But I will not talk to a board that doesn't talk to me first. What, you want me to read? Reading is for smart people. And I am not that. Uh, I'm kidding. Pr probably, like, anyone should read. Reading, good way to pass the time, among other things. And you don't necessarily have to be smart to read, though some... some writing may have a larger vocabulary than you do, but then we have the power of the internet. You can just look up a word you don't know. So, yeah, read. It's good for you. Yes, I'm a massive hypocrite and don't read that often, but I do still read sometimes. <laughs> and with that, Gusty, it's not complete. There's a Daredevil comet. What is it? Time limit on catching the rabbit? Oh no, the Daredevil comet. It's the Monte, the, the, the Sergeant Burrows by Major Burrows. I, I knew what I meant. Okay, I did get hit the first time I did this because I was not thinking about how he functioned slightly differently than the smaller moles. No, he has to be up, fully up, and then I whack him. Easy. Now we've just got to do it again a couple of times. He'll start borrowing after me. I wait until he pops up. And there we go. And whack him. And now he gets big mad. Oh no. So he's gonna charge at me from wherever he is. There he is. And once he's up, I pound. But, oh no, he does it again. And then I hit him. Easy. Should have been that easy the first time. What is going on? There's still a ring from my spinning effect, and it was majorly glitching out in that cutscene, just... <laughs> it was right above my webcam, too, initially, so it was... Yeah, that was something. And next stop... We'll go Honey Climb, because, you know, there's only one star here, may as well get it out of the way. Scaling the sticky wall. Ah, yes. Because being a bee allows you to climb on honey. As, you know, we all know. I am become bee. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee Mario should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The Bee Mario, of course, flies anyway, because the Bee Mario does not care what humans think is impossible. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Ooh, yellow black. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. I... Yeah, I don't know the rest of it from there. I think that's as much B-movie script as I can fit in my brain without 
the ghost of Seinfeld himself coming and getting me. The ghost of Seinfeld? Jerry Seinfeld is not dead, but his ghost would still haunt me if I just went too off the rails with B-movie script jokes. I say going off the rails with B-movie script jokes. I made that a title and description of a video. I'm pretty sure I'm already well off the rails. But, you know, it it's fine. What the? Oh, I lost gravity of the planet because I flew for too long. That's fine. I guess I'll go the long way around. Then, when these line up, oh no, that time I lost it just because of a uh, climbing angle. I am so lucky. <laughs> oh god, there's no way I should have been alive after that. That was, oh boy, that was so many levels of bad news for me. Oh, I need to stop climbing off the edges of the honey before things actually line up. This is fine. This is fine. That's fine. There we go. Nice and easy. Not even really a challenge. Not even a real challenge. See? Easy star. You know, apart from that one point at which I nearly died. Horribly. <laughs> Ooh, a new chapter for the storybook. Lovely. Anyway. I did say that I wanted to wait until I got a whole lot of chapters so I could binge read them. I think... I think next should be Freeze Flame. Yeah, we'll go Freeze Flame. What might this hot and cold system of planets have in store? Firstly, there's the frozen peak of Baron Burr. Shall I continue to rhyme for a while? I feel like that might be a bit of a trial. For both the audience and myself. Uh, something something, I've never seen the movie, Elf. Penguin, please stop me from rhyming. Hey old man, are you practicing how to skate to see if you can catch me? Okay. I, I know how to do the skate. I was already doing it before I realized I had to actually talk to you. My skating speed is slightly faster than yours. Thank you. A small chance. Okay. A small chance is more than enough for me. I might have a chance. Apparently a small one. But nah, I'll be fine. Ow. Well, that's okay. I don't need all my health anyway. Wow, another ice flower. So cool that that would be over there. But also, I kind of want to see if I can reach this without it. Wait, I totally can. <laughs> Where am I going? Why have I done this to myself? I missed the one thing I needed up there. Okay. Let's try to do this a little better. But yes, 
with the ice flower, you can skate on the ice that you produce. I don't think I actually showed that off when I initially used it. So, now you know. Ow. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. Okay, I can't even wall jump off that. That kinda sucks. And I'm gonna have to do this the painful way, except I didn't get hurt, so that's fine. Uh, I guess I'll get this. I don't... Yeah, this is absolutely pointless. Wait. Oh, I can wall jump up this. Hello? Faster way up level, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, faster way up the level. I am so glad I didn't have to waste time on other platforming segments. Yeah, yeah. And yep. And yeah. And up we go. Wow, I actually needed to keep my ice flower that whole way. And here is the Baron Burr. The boss fight of this level. Wow, he sure does look intimidating. I went the wrong way first. You, you know, you should try leading your shots. I instead of aiming where I am, aim in front of me. That... that might actually trip me up, you know? The way you're doing right now kinda just seems like an invitation for me to come up there and kick your ass. Oh, I forgot he... I forgot he does that. Never mind. But also I didn't take any damage from it, so... Okay, now he's gonna try dive bomb me, and then I can hit him. Get wrecked. I've hit you once, and once is more than enough. Especially because I can just keep hitting you because you're not knocking me off of this platform. Ow. You know what? That was a survival tactic, actually. Um, I don't know why I didn't jump there. I definitely hit the button, but... It must have been a fraction of a second too late. Well, I was going to one-cycle you if my jump there had actually worked, but... Two-cycle it is. Or, I guess, technically three, because, uh... Yeah, the first one I didn't remember the pushback mechanic. Oh well. Uh, the point is, I did it, and I am fine. And another freeze flame. Let's -a go! Yahoo! Freeze flame's blistering core. Ah, I see. We focused on the ice, now we focus on the fire before, presumably, the next, uh, planet will focus on both. Or, next star. I know what I meant. Whoop. No, you don't. And here. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. What? Thank you, Mario. Now we skate along the underside. Get star bits just because we can. And hit this for our final star chip. Well, pull stars and a launch star? Truly, you are too generous, game. Okay. Might help if I am in the loop before I do. Any shenanigans? And here we are. 
a molten lava portion of a planet that's in fact split in half, which is not really how planets work. I don't think that two halves of a planet would stay floating independently of each other like this. Pretty sure they'd just, uh, collapse into each other due to gravitational forces. It's not like these lava pillars are holding anything up, they're dripping down. And very polygonal. I can see more polygon lines than I would actually expect of a... Well... I would say HD remake, but it's kind of just... No, it's not even upscaled. This is... The GameCube... Uh, Mario Sunshine was upscaled. Uh, Mario 64 was upscaled, but without changing the resolution. And, yeah, th this game, I think, is just as normal, because the resolution is the same, and nothing really seems necessarily smoother than what the Wii could do. Huh. That's a weird realization to have. Wow. Lighting the torches made a stairway. What an incredible discovery. And... Yep. Little ol' gravity flip. Oh no, a rolling log of death in lava. I've never seen one of those before. Except for the part where I have, and... Okay, that didn't quite go as planned, but, uh... I'll be fine. I will survive. Oh, hang on. I need to ricochet that fire. And then I ran out of time. That's okay. Just have to go down and around without getting stuck on the box this time, because that's how I died last time. I'm actually gonna check. Okay. Coin. Back on full health. Just what I wanted. And now, we can get the heck out of here. As this portion raises to make weird physics happen because I tried to hit it while it was still raising. Now we're back on the other half of the planet. Ain't that neat? And then... nope. Other way, please. Thank you. And... yep. Look at all these geysers and steam vents and... Why did you think I wanted to ground pound there? That... and was very clearly meant to be a long jump game, but... Okay. Whatever you say, buddy. Do 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 not... Thank you. I wonder if I can actually hit both of those from here. I can definitely hit the left one. Uh, that's the right one. What am I saying? I don't normally get my lefts and rights confused! That moves a lot faster than I thought it did. Okay. Well, I wanted to one-cycle that, but I guess I'm not that skilled. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit the, uh... Fire on the left from there. Yeah, these platforms move significantly faster than I thought they did. But at least I did the thing. Now. No, that's absurd. 
I, I'm not gonna try that. I was thinking long jump timing to try and hit this platform while it was in the middle, and then get up, but nah. That's ridiculous. Almost as ridiculous as the fact this episode is over already. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.